Okay, welcome to this calculation for N5 electrotechnics. We're still in module one for direct current machines. And in this calculation, we'll be looking at a short shunt compound machine. Now, just to give you some background, we get two types of compound machines. We get the long shunt, which includes the series winding. And then we get the short shunt compound machine, where the electrical connection excludes the series winding. Now these are motors, so they're still drawing current from the supply. And our compound wound motors could either be cumulatively compounded or differentially compounded. If they are cumulatively compounded, the field windings are such that they assist each other and the current will flow in the same direction. And they are used as rolling mills or printing presses. For differentially compounded motors, the field windings are such that they will oppose each other and the current flows in the opposite direction and they are used as elevators and escalators. Now just to show you the electrical connection, uh, the difference between cumulatively and differentially, let me just draw some examples here. Okay, so it consists of two windings which is the series machine and the shunt machine. So let's imagine that this winding over here is for series and for this winding over here, it is for a shunt. Okay, so what we do is we take these field windings and we wrap them around the field poles. Now, if it's cumulatively compounded, the field windings will be in the same direction. Now, let's take a look at uh, differentially. Let's say, for example, uh, a compound machine is a combination of series and shunt. So let's say this is our series winding. And then for our shunt winding, it will be in the opposite direction. Okay, so let me just demonstrate our shunt winding over here. So it would differentially compound it. The field windings will oppose each other. Right, that brings us to our example 1.4. A 15 kilowatt, 360 volt, short shunt compound wound DC motor operating at a full load efficiency of 90% has a series field and shunt field resistances of 0.3 ohms and 140 ohms respectively. Calculate the following if the armature resistance is 0.15 ohms and the brush contact voltage is 3 volts. Now before we answer all those questions, let's first take a look at our drawing. It is a short shunt compound wound motor. So first of all the series winding is connected in series with the armature. Let me just draw my carbon brushes there. And then we've got the armature assembly. It is a motor. Now, short shunt means the electrical connection excludes the series winding. And then we have the shunt winding connected in parallel to the armature. Right, this is a motor, so it is still uh, mechanical out and electrical in. And we have some terminal voltage across the terminals. A motor will draw current from the supply. That current passes through the series winding. Most of the current gets drawn by the armature and a small amount of current goes through the shunt winding. Now let me just write down all the information that is being given before we answer the question. So first of all the output power, power out, is 15,000 watts. Okay. Uh, the full load efficiency of 90%. So what I would suggest is first calculate the input power. To calculate the input power, it is 15,000 divided by the efficiency of 0.9. Therefore, the input power will be 16.667 watts. Right, what other information do we have? We have the uh, series field and shunt field. The series field is 0.3 ohms and the shunt field is 140 ohms. The armature resistance, which is RA, that is 0.15 ohms, and we have a brush contact volt drop, which is basically IA times R brush, and that is equal to uh, 3 volts. Right, in the first step, we are going to calculate the current drawn from the supply. Uh, so to calculate IL, it will be the input power divided by the terminal voltage. 
the input power is the bigger one and output power is the smaller one so that's 16 6, 6, 7, divided by the terminal voltage of uh, 360 okay and that will give us our supply current over here which is uh, 46 comma 297 amperes now it's important to note that IL is the same as the current through the series winding in part B we need to calculate the uh, shunt field current so to calculate I shunt now the easiest way to do this let me just remind you that I shunt is equal to V shunt over R shunt okay so that's how we're going to calculate the shunt current now we do have the shunt resistance it's the bigger one it's 140 ohms but now the challenge is to calculate V shunt okay so let me just show you over here we have a volt drop across the series winding and we have a volt drop across the shunt winding so the total voltage across the terminals is equal to VSC plus V shunt so therefore to calculate V shunt it'll be the total voltage minus VSE uh, the total voltage is uh, 360 volts minus the volt drop across the series one here we just use a little bit of Ohm's law uh, to calculate VSC it will be uh, ISE multiplied by RSE okay so let's say 360 minus now ISE is the same as uh, IL and that was 46,297 46 comma 297 the series resistance is 0 comma 3 okay so if you work that out the volt drop across the series winding it will be 360 minus 13 comma 889 and that will give us the voltage across the shunt winding 346 comma 111 volts right now we can substitute that in here 346 comma 111 right as you as you'll notice that some people will make the mistake of substituting the terminal voltage there you'll see that it's very different to 360 volts okay so therefore the shunt current 346 comma 111 divided by 140 will give us 2 comma 472 amperes right next question calculate the uh, armature current to, now to calculate IA it is a motor so therefore IA is equal to IL minus I shunt right the supply current we've calculated that in the previous step it is uh, 46 comma 297 minus the shunt current of 2 comma 472 so therefore the armature current is going to be 43 comma 825 amperes right this brings us to the final step and now we need to calculate the back emf that is generated and there's quite a few volt drops here it's a motor so it's going to be minus so it's v minus i a r a minus i s c r s c and then we subtract the brush contact voltage which is basically i a r brush okay now what is common here is um let me just see what is common some of the current is common not all of it the terminal voltage is 360 volts okay let's substitute ia here ia is ooh, where is it from the previous step 43 comma 825 times the armature resistance uh, the armature resistance is 0 comma 15 ohms okay now isc is the same as uh, il um, il 46 comma 46 comma 297 times RSC um, RSC is 0 comma 3 now if you have a look over here you'll actually see that this is the volt drop across the 
series winding. We, we, we actually worked that out in the previous step. Now, to subtract the brush contact voltage, which has been given to us, it is uh, 3 volts. And if you use your calculator and you work everything out, we get a back EMF of uh, 336,537 volts. Right, thanks for watching this video for N5 Electrotechniques.